Hey guys, Proper English here, and today I've got a video response to Fog's self-resettable capacitor. This is a pretty cool circuit. It takes an input of a specific signal strength and stores it in this capacitor-like cell over here. Now, the way that works is when a comparator takes an input, it outputs with the exact same signal strength, so when we loop comparators, we can store a specific signal strength. And Fog set this up so that it's self-resettable. That means when I set another signal as the input, it clears out the storage cell and saves the new signal strength. And he mentioned that in a solid state design, you could not store a full 15 signal strength. And the reason for that was you can't reset this comparator by turning it off with a 15 over here. Now, that's true if you're using a comparator over here, but if I set this to subtractor mode, it resets just fine because now we're not comparing, we're subtracting this 15 over here from this 15 over here. And so we can check out the self-resettable aspect of this. I'll set a full 15 in, and we can come down here. Let's go over to three, set that one, and there we go. It works perfectly fine. And so I thought I would share that with you guys because this is a really cool circuit and you guys know that I love solid state. So having a full 15 storage capacity in a solid state version of this capacitor is awesome. And uh, yeah, we can do it. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys like this and I will see you guys next time.